now that the chandelier is in the hallway, it means downstairs, it means that this one go back again. Can go back up on the landing oh. outside our bedroom. This is my favourite one. Are you cow up there? This is not my favourite one. You just moaned how heavy it was. Yeah, you know, I was actually surprised. It felt like it was nearly as heavy as the one I've just put in the hallway downstairs. There's an awful lot of crystal on this one. Well, it won't be for long. Right. Uh, Here she goes. Thank okay. you. Please don't ask me to move it again. Well, you know, it's not going <laughs> to stay there forever. No, I have this feeling you're going to tell me to take it back to England. <laughs> don't laugh like that either. <laughs> I hate it when you do that. <laughs> I know what's going now. Doing a good job, darling. I am going to lock tight this and it's not moving. <laughs> Ever. Right. Maybe we should do a video one day of all the chandeliers that we have. Well, it's been one of those weeks. Been manic at work. Carol got roped into, uh, didn't you, darling? Your mum's <laughs> decorating your mum's place, not our place can't believe that but um Can we keep the mother happy definitely keep the mother-in-law mm. happy that's a plus yeah Val will be very happy so we managed to get an early ferry on Friday thankfully because we've got so much done but I reckon if we sneak where we are now we'll pop over and see Terry and Ash maybe they'll feed us before we go home I was also thinking that Paul has just finished decorating your cage my van is empty do you think they'd notice if we quickly piled it in the back without telling them Found. This is why we went to Terry's yesterday to pick up some mouldings. He kindly ordered them in for me. And they are to take back for Bethany's bedroom. So we're gonna go something like Something like that. <laughs> I need to have it left and right. I was confused. That's it. <laughs> This is on the wall, you said, isn't it? Not the ceiling you're yeah. doing. Oh, and the corners for the ceiling. All right. Lucky Bethany. Use your teeth. So that will join those ones up. That one down there. Ta da. The wallpaper goes in the centre and the bed and the bed. What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> Pick your up man. sticks. Doesn't mean anything to me. I prefer my floor. I'm sure when you've done your magic, it'll be wow. Definitely, but. Easy, and then I've got four corners for her ceiling as well. What does our room get? You've just done Bethany's room. The problem is our room's not square, it's got a lot of alcove in there. Oh. This was a lot easier to try. Okay. So yeah, looking forward to getting those up and getting them up, and then I can get the paper up finally. Not that anybody likes it. Well, that's enough of the chestnut picking. I'm just going to go and see how Cal's doing with, oh my word, look at this. That's a big one. Why do I get the feeling we got onions for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> look at the size of these. Holy. Look. More like parsnips. <laughs> Where are they going? Well, they could be doorstops. My mum planted them, so I thought I'll pull the load out and take them to her and She's... she can have them with the smell as well, because they are strong. They're going in your car. They're going in my car. They're going in the bonnet, under the bonnet. They're not going in my car with that smell. <laughs> I have enough problems with your feet when you take your shoes off. Oh, my feet got drenched earlier. They're still <laughs> drenched. I had to my trousers up there. <laughs> oh, right, you're not trying to suntan. <laughs> Dear me. Look like someone on Brighton Beach. <laughs> I don't like my mum. Your mum, yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, those onions really do, right? The red ones aren't as big, though. Okay. Oh, 
I'm guessing the peas or whatever those things were. Oh, yeah. My runner beans. Runner beans are dead, are they? Yeah, these aren't. I don't. These are a different variety, and I don't think they're as obviously not as big. Looks well, they're not small, are they? Rude, doesn't it? How are we going with the um, cucumbers that need to go to hospital? Are, are they finished? You haven't had a look, have you? The cucumbers are a bit, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're still they're like uh, you, pasta. Yeah, I know. Okay, we'll give that a miss. Right, I'm going to leave you with you. I'm just going to carry on down in the uh, coach house, clearing up. Double whammy. Well, we popped into a village which is near our, our town of Alton. This one's called Odium. Really nice village. That cow's looking at houses at the moment. We would actually look to buy here. Um, but we thought we'd pop in here on the way back from one of the gardens just because they've got a, well, a bacont, if you want, an antique shop over there, which we kind of do go into. But yeah, what a day to be out. Well, again, there's lots of truth on it. It's going through finding something hidden away. Ink were English. Cup of tea. Cup of tea, cup of char. <laughs> Actually, there's a few flies in there. <laughs> it's not tea for two with one cup though, is it? <laughs> no, it's tea for ten. <laughs> <laughs> what you found? I have found, it's always the way, when you're not looking for something, you find something you want. But this is so soft and delicate and sumptuous. Oh, that sounds like you're going to buy it. Look. How beautiful this fabric is. Oh, means nothing to me, unless it's in my, uh, oh, on my bed. So soft and the pattern. It's yeah. upside down, obviously. But that's a set of... There's a lot, look behind, there's loads, isn't it's, there? It's for the whole lot is, I need more than 58 pounds for the lot, set of vintage curtains, 58 pounds. Okay, so the big question is, where are you gonna put them? Where do I put them? Yeah. Let me show the pattern. Oh, it's quite nice, isn't it, actually? How many do you think are there, then? Without rummaging through, I don't know. Why do I get to buy them? Not at 58 pounds, you don't. Quite big. I'll tell you what, there's a set of plates here with a gold edge into them. I bet they're not 60 euros. Oh look, they've been dry cleaned as well. There's, there's a dry cleaning tag on them. Okay, they don't look very wide. Lines. But just for the fabric. Well, I've been giving the owner some tips on where to come over in France to the con, so maybe... Go and up, do yeah. a deal. <laughs> maybe we could uh, see if we can do a contra deal. He knows I've got a van, maybe I can bring some stuff back for him. There's some strange stuff in there. Yes. Look, look. I'm scared to now. <laughs> I don't know if you're winding me up or you're being serious now. <laughs> Very glossy. That's because I've got plastic fill one. Yeah, I can see. This one hasn't it. Lovely. No price on those. There's lots of them actually, isn't there? Nine. Oh, there's the price. Wow. That's cheap. Tell us how much. <laughs> Do you want to have a guess? Well, now you said that's cheap, you're going to tell me something like 20 quid for the whole lot. Not that cheap. Oh. 32 pounds. That's not cheap. Well, I'm wondering in the other room and I go and ask him what uh, can be done on the curtains. singer. That probably is your old singer. <laughs> that was good that old, uh, you did a lot of stuff on that uh, old sewing machine of yours. I certainly did.
personal He-Man's done the job again. I'm off to the laundriette, I'll feel it. <laughs> no, they've been cleaned. I uh, showed you the tag. Okay. So we have bought the fabric. Well, there's actually four curtains, two pairs. They're quite long. Again, no idea where they're going, but... Uh, as always, they'll go in a We box. got them discounted down to £40, which I'm so pleased with. What's the name of this shop? Yeah, well, it used to be called All Sorts, but they're rebranding. You kind of blend in there. It's so, so colourful and cluttered. I kind of blend. <laughs> I've been a right while you're walking around with these. <laughs> right, let's get these loaded in the van. Okay. Well, we popped over to another garden centre. Cow and her white daffodils, but I just come across this and thought, wouldn't that look nice? And sort of our gates. Oh, Carol, you know we got our, uh, what's that silly cage you used to have that got stolen? My pagoda. Yeah. I'm a new one because someone stole it. Yeah, someone stole it. Well, there's one behind you. How about that, though? Can you imagine that in the middle of the wood? That's oh, amazing. yeah, that's impressive, isn't it? So it's the price tag that goes with it, I'm sure. Good morning. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you. Um, Good job you're not on camera with what you're wearing. I'm not wearing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> so I managed between all the chaos this week of getting ready for the party, um, I managed to get some sheets of paper up on this wall. Um, nobody likes it. I do. The girls don't like it. Or Bethany. Yeah. Or the other one. They got no taste. Anyway, last time we were in France, we picked up the mouldings. So I'm proposing to do this. I've got a little bit of more paper to put there at each end, but I'm proposing to do this at the corners to frame it. Yep. And then at, to so corners and then oh, the and trim across the top. After you've repaired the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give it a frame, now Adrian saw a photo the other day and he said, oh, drape it with curtains, but this room's too small to do something like that. So we're going to do something like that. Hence why I haven't gone right to the roof with the paper. Uh -huh. And then I've got the same mouldings to go on all four corners of the ceiling, just to give it some detail. Some oomph. And then <laughs> I'm trying to find a, a pretty ceiling, Rose, because this is a really pretty room. It is. Uh, a pretty ceiling rose for here, so not a bog standard round one, like a little bit of shape to it, to the edge, edges, the scalloped shape, a little bit of um, pretty detail up there. With the chandelier going up there, I guess. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. No, it's only a, a bog standard chandelier. A bog? <laughs> There's no such thing. So it hasn't got its crystals on it yet. This is what oh, we've yes. had for a very long time. So maybe over the weekend you could get that one up there for me and then I can hang the crystals. Good old Laura Ashley. Uh, the curtains that we bought, you saw in the video we bought curtains. Yeah, this one's a little bit too big. So I have a collection of those. <laughs> <laughs> you do, because if I span, span round here, there's another one there. <laughs> we've got eight in total. Have we? Yes. Ooh. Anyway. These curtains that we bought at the antique shop, the drop wasn't quite right, the width wasn't quite right, obviously, and they don't quite go. So we're gonna stay, save those for another project. But okay. I still love them. They were a good buy, weren't they, really? So they were worth stopping. They're just stopping. staying down there for the moment because I've kind of run out of room. And I came in this room, I looked over to the left and I suddenly thought, it's Christmas. That's all Edgar. I can think of, Edgar, yeah, exactly. Name that. Supermarket. Name that Christmas <laughs> advert. That's my favourite all time Christmas advert and actually made me cry when I first saw it. No. It doesn't take a lot to make me cry. That's why you bought two of them. Anyway, for now, we need to get ready. I need to go to P A R T. Why? It's been all go the last few weeks in preparation for a big birthday in the family. Uh, I'll mention no names till later. But this morning is the day before the party and we've got to get the cakes iced. Now this person loves marzipan so I've made a Christmas cake covered with marzipan and now I've got to get the icing done. We've got four blocks of the, um, icing to get on. 
We've also got some iced flowers. We're having to mix them with these silk flowers as well. But let me show you the colour of the icing. We're going for this very pale green. Or maybe it will be even dark egg blue. And which goes nicely with all the colours of the theme and the pink flowers. That will be the first tier. And then the second tier is going to be lemon cakes. Now this was my first time at making lemon cake uh, yesterday. We had a bit of a disaster with the scales that needed a new battery. And I didn't realise at the time. So that all had to go in the bin and start again. So these are the second batch. I'm going to either use probably three layers of this lemon cake filled with lemon butter icing had a bit of a disaster in the kitchen as well with some crockery that fell out the cupboard having not enough space here so that would be the second tier so far so good i've got my paddle here i could do with two but um i only have the one that i've borrowed so we'll try and get this moved down around the edges without any creases. In the meantime, I'd like to say a big thank you to Kirk, who sent Adrian and I some travel mugs for our coffee when we take the grandchildren out. Thank you very much, Kirk. We'll be trying those out as soon as I've made this cake. So let's get these corners done. So as you can see, I'm still making a little bit of a mess. The scales packed up, so I had to go about and buy a new pair. And the cake is almost done. I've been playing around with flowers for quite some time now. And still making pastries. They'll have to be filled tonight or tomorrow. But my main concern was getting this cake done today, which I will show you when again when it's finished. We've got some eucalyptus to put in here, but I'm keeping that in water till the morning. But it's slowly all coming together. Quick video of the cake, because we're still setting up. I'm quite pleased with that. So we'll have to transport it in the car so the, the foil has wrinkled a little bit. I'm sure my mother will be very pleased and over the moon with all that us children have done for her. Still setting up the flowers. And we have the homemade bunting as well. This was just made with leftover fabric that I had in a cupboard. And double-sided it with, hey, you may recognise this. Maybe not in this light, but the fabric from the dining room. And also there's this fabric that I used in the summer for cushions. But that is the colour theme, so it all tied in nicely. Also, we have these memory cards. And on the reverse, everyone can write their memories or their birthday wishes for Val. So now to prep the food and get ready. Disaster in the kitchen. Bethany, what have you done? <laughs> so between us, we're trying to pipe the raspberries and the cream into the meringues. And we've had a bit of an explosion, haven't we? I can't describe what that looks like on camera. <laughs> if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. Oh, the piping bag broke. What are we going to do now? <laughs> Bethany's in hysterics. Is it broken? <laughs>
She told me she was making her Christmas cake the other day. Uh, it turns out to be the bottom half of my birthday cake. I think she made a jolly good job of it, don't you? Uh, seems a shame to cut it. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming and making the effort to get here. It's just so lovely to have all my lovely family and all the good friends. <laughs> yes, you're quite right, Elizabeth. It is, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's just so lovely to have a lovely family. Aww. People that I can depend on and always go to them if I need things doing, such as my decorating. <laughs>